We begin with some somber news updates on the tragic Seoul ferry sinking that took more than 248 lives. Though the search continues, many relatives fear they may never see their loved ones again. President Park Geun-hye visited the island on this Sunday to console those who have been in Jindo for weeks. Our Kwon so starts us off. President Park Geun-hye visited Jindo on Saturday afternoon, her second trip to the island after the tragic sinking of the Seoul Ho ferry nearly three weeks ago. The president spoke with about 50 relatives of the missing passengers at Pengmokang Harbor near the accident site. President Park, who lost both of her parents at a young age, said she knows the sadness of losing a family member and that it hurts her to think of how the families must be feeling as they await word of their loved ones. She expressed her condolences to the families and said she feels responsible for the events after the accident occurred and emphasized that the nation's safety infrastructure has to be strengthened. When one relative demanded to know what she would do with regard to Yi Ju Yong, the Oceans and Fisheries Minister who has been criticized for mishandling the incident, the president replied that anyone responsible for wrongdoing related to the incident and those who have committed a crime will be punished accordingly. President Park also reviewed the search and recovery operation from a barge at the accident site. She checked the National Forensic Service's progress on identifying recovered bodies, talked with divers engaged in the recovery operation and urged everyone involved to do their utmost to move the process along. In related news, the first phase of the search and recovery operation is expected to be completed within the next few days. Most of the cabins on the ship have been searched, raising concerns that some of the bodies may already have been swept away. The president vowed that the search would go on. This means the wreckage of the ship won't be pulled up before the families give their consent. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.